Dr. Badijo here. In this video I'm going to show you how to attach photos to a specific feature in a feature class. Here's my data set. All sampled structures. This is just a point data set, a point feature class. If I activate it you can see all these little red dots everywhere. And these are places where we took photos of archaeological remains on our survey. I'm going to zoom into this particular part of the archaeological site and focus on this structure right here. And I'm going to want to attach photos that I took in the field to that specific structure. So to begin, you actually have to enable attachments for your feature class. The way to do that, go to Analysis, Tools. That'll open the Geoprocessing pane over here on your right. And just start typing in Enable attachments and it should pop up to the top of the list. Click on that and then I'll open up this little drop box where you can choose which data set is the input data set. Here we want to enable attachments for all sampled structures. Put it in there in the field and then hit run. Now I've already done that for this specific feature class so I'm not going to do it again but on your computer you can just hit run and that'll prepare it to accept attachments down the road. Okay, now we want to actually click the specific feature and now we can actually see the attributes over here and if you can't see the attributes over here on your right side make sure to go over to the editing pane and click on attribute. And that'll open this up but you can also see that you have attachments or at least the possibility to add attachments here. Click on that and it is an empty box, little add button on the on the top right. You can add it through tra the traditional way just by clicking here and searching for your images and opening them or you can drag and drop. I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop all the images that are associated with this structure. So that goes from this one 2121 to 2131. And there they are. All set to go. I'm going to hit save. Make sure that they're all saved into the geodatabase as attachments. And now if I wanted to explore them, I can either hover over them so I can see what the image is. Or if I wanted to, I could double click and be able to see the image in large. And that's how easy it is to attach an image to a single feature within a feature class. Thanks for watching.